Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're here, we're trying to get to the engine. Let's not waste any time, pull the lever, let's go down. So hopefully, whatever is happening to the ship, hopefully we can fix that. Okay. And then we'll go to that exclamation mark. Arctic wind. Okay. And before we get there, also make sure that we're fully healed up and all that good stuff. Okay. Ooh, a save guy. Alright, well, before we go over there... Nothing at that end. Okay. A little pe pe peculiar. Can't say that word. Chest. Barrier. Let's just see what that does, just in case. Raises magic defense. Okay. Could be useful. Not useful right now. Okay, let's um, make sure... Okay, everyone's healed up. Okay, continue. Nothing on that side. So this part of the engine room is the heart of the ship. This place gives me the creeps even worse than before. Oh, more writing in the script of the Crystal Adventists. Insert Oricalcum. Hold up, everyone. I think we're about to encounter some kind of beast. Huh? Did it say that in your journal? Forget about the journal. I can feel it breathing down my neck. Ghost? The heck is that? Okay. What is that? Behemoth. Fair enough. Evade one physical attack. Oh, that's what that does. Okay, I remember when I fought the lady, I didn't know what that does. Okay. Let's go ahead and just attack. We'll use a special piercing bolt. Um. Okay. Um. Let's use the overpower. And a piercing bolt, and I think we'll call it a day. Thousand three hundred, not amazing, honestly. But hey, fair enough. Venomous bite. Ooh. Here I come. Okay, we'll have to unpoison that. Three point five k. That's about how much it hits for. I think last time we used to hit for. I guess it depending on the weaknesses of the bosses, but we usually hit for about two to three. Yes, yeah, the ideas did two compared to Ring of Bells three. Okay, let's go ahead and just attack like normal. The Dia, let's go ahead and use Thunder. I think Thunder is what would kill these guys. With Tiz, let's just use... MP goes down instead of HP for 10 turns. Hmm. Um, let's do... Let's just do a jump. And with Ring a Bell, let's go ahead and use a Kira on all. I think that'll be good. Cool. Ouch, that hurt a lot. Weak point. Okay, thunder is its weak point, so I guessed right. I guessed it's water, so. Okay, Tizzle jump in the air. Let's go ahead and do that, and then let's go ahead and do another Kira on everyone here. Dude, that jump did a lot of damage. Like a good bit of damage. I'm surprised by that. Okay, attack. Let's do another jump. And then another Kira. Keep everyone topped off. Toothy Ren. Ouch. Yeah, honestly, that poison would be bad, but I'm just straight up out healing the poison, so it's like not that big of an issue. Ooh, 7k critical. Dude, I take it back. That Valkyrie's insane. Just keep doing the same thing. There we go. We'll kill it. We'll kill it enough. We'll kill it soon enough, considering. The amount of damage that jump is doing. Even for two turns, that's a lot. Okay, just keep healing out of it, not an issue. Roar. Ooh. That killed Ring a Bell. Okay, well then, let's go ahead and do that. 
do special, doing that, and then just, just like that. So I'm gonna do turn everyone, just so we can see a little bit of water around here. I just thought I was gonna run away with that. And anyways, here, hopefully no one die. Until Ring of Bell can get along to healing people. Okay, piercing bolt. This should do another couple K. Okay, it didn't kill it, which is a little bit of a shame. Okay, let's go ahead and do another thunder. This is default. Let's go ahead and cure twice here. Okay, good. We got those cure offs before it attacked. You love to see it. Roar. That killed Ring about last time. Didn't kill him this time. But it's, it's a good thing. Why are we using Thunders? Why aren't I using the advanced versions? Am I dumb? Okay, we just do a normal attack. Yeah, why was I using Thunders this entire time? Let's go to Thundaras. Probably could have killed them by now if I was using Thundaras. Go ahead and just use some Cures. I don't want anyone to die, so... If I have to use the Cures, I will. No, Ring of Bell's gonna be dead. A lot of people are gonna be dead, actually. Oh, actually, just idea. I'm surprised Ring of Bell didn't die there. Okay, um, I just do first, so I just use the idea. And then, Explosion E. Explosion, Ring of Bell. Ring of Bell. Okay, and then, let's do a lot of Unsilence. Okay, when we Unsilence, can do it. Unsilence me. I just can't do it. Okay, here. Oh, I can still play. Okay, that makes sense. Phoenix down, okay. Get some X Potions going just to get us, get us up and running here. Okay. Echo Herbs, get some Kira's going. Make sure everyone's topped off. Toothy Rend. Okay, that won't kill anyone. Alright, now let's use the Thundaras. We didn't get to pull him off last time because he killed a Dia. Let's go ahead and just default here. Ouch. That actually doesn't do a crazy more amount of damage. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, just use an X potion on Ring of Bell. I, he's very close. No, it's going to kill Ring of Bell again. It didn't. Wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, jump. Actually, no. Let's not jump. Let's save that jump for one more. Kira. I'm hoping Ring of Bell can do this in time. Yes. Thank you. I'm glad he did it in time. Before everyone died. Roar. It's gonna hurt again, but it's not gonna kill anyone. Ooh. Blade Storm. Let's do a Blade Storm. Let's go ahead and do a jump here. Will this kill it? He should be pretty close to dead. Good 3,000. It's not dead yet, though. Toothy Rend, please. Oh, that sucks. Okay, maybe we could do our own special with the Piercing Bolt. Okay, let's go ahead and do... Am I silenced again? Of course I'm silenced. Okay, Brave. Let's go ahead and do the Echo Herbs on me. Go ahead and use a Phoenix Down on Anya's. Do a Cure on everyone. And then do the Piercing Bolt special. I think that should be good. No, it's going to kill Ring of Bell. Okay, that sucks a little bit. Idea is now dead again. Let's end this quick. But, hey. Honestly, it is what it is at this point. Still not dead. Okay, so we still have a chance for everyone to get that XP. I need, I need them to get their JP points. So, I don't want them dead. Brave, Phoenix down on Adia, and then an X potion on Adia, and that will do what it has to do here. Venomous bite, don't kill. Okay, didn't kill, but that was close. Um, maybe this is good. I'm going to maybe try to kill with these first attacks. I don't know. Maybe I'll special piercing bolt. And I guess I'll use these items. Maybe let's see what I'm range. And then use one of them on Ring a Bell. Please die. Didn't die, but maybe we could heal out of heal out of the range of this. Okay, that's fine. As long as she doesn't die, that's fine. Well, the poison might kill her. Yes, we killed it with everyone alive. 
Okay, and everyone gets their JP points. Amazing. Cool. I love JP points. That was a close call. That actually was a pretty tough boss. And whose fault is that? How did that that thing's been down all here for right. thousands of years? Let's insert the oracalcum. I'll do it. You should all stand back. That can't be a good sign. It seems to have subsided. I wonder what it did. Is it like a self-healing ship and it just needs some orichalcum? Oh, it's you, Dads. And the proprietress. We've evacuated all the townspeople. Except for our friend here, of course. The ship stopped sinking. It's no longer at a lean either. What of the townspeople? They'll be heading back in droves, right? Actually, they all say they've had it with this ramshackle ship. They're sailing off to various other realms as we speak. Legend has it that Grand Ship was built by pirates. Perhaps that blood is still in us. Well... At least everyone is safe. That's a relief. Look, there's a wheel in the council chamber. Hard to starboard. Full speed ahead. Hey, stop fooling around, Ringabell. You too, Adia. Hmm. I wonder what this button does. It's glowing. Like I said, quit messing around. This isn't ours to tinker with. The residents have left the ship and don't appear to be coming back. Women are drawn to men with a wild streak and a hint of danger in their eyes. How about you stop spouting nonsense and push the darn thing? All right, then. Huh? It's a flying ship. What? Hey, it's taking off. This is an airship. How on earth does a ship this large get airborne? Amazing! We're up so high! Amazing! Well, I'll be. She can get up to twice the altitude of the echelon. We could probably cross over into the duchy on this idea. Easily! Yay! Now we can go and awaken the Earth Crystal! Well, on yes. Shall we make for the Duchy of Eternia? Yes! That settles it. I'm staying too. You want to go with us? You must all be famished. I'll get the kitchen ovens fired up. Yay, now we have a cook. No train can buy your progress now. The world is your oyster. To find land, open up an area and press... Uh, when landing in water, you can sail off in the echelon. Okay. Cool. Yeah, this is a big old ship. Ain't that the truth? The propri proprietress put on a brave face, but we make now for the duchy. Enemy territory, right? It's going to be dangerous. Dats, zats, it's best if you two took the proprietress and left the ship. Though it kills me to say farewell to her cooking. No more desserts. It can't be helped, you two. Besides, these two have their mission as shield bearers. Mission? Oh, right. Don't worry about that. Our current orders are to escort the Vestal of Wind and keep her safe. What? Since when? Since you guys helped us out, the orders came from Commander Goodman himself. That's why the two of us both came back to the Grand Ship to, to tip a few back. 
That old house is full of the new shield bearers who came to take over for us. Then I guess that just leaves the pr proprietress. We'll have to convince her to take shelter. Yeah, good luck with that. Maybe when Mount Karka freezes over, you'll be lucky if she doesn't beat you for asking. I'm Grandship born and raised. If you don't like it, get the heck off my boat. Too perfect. That's her answer, guaranteed. An uncanny likeness. Still, the danger is too great. It is for her own sake that we ask. Look, my bet is that seeing you all stirred something inside her and inspired her. Besides, you really think you can live without her cooking now that you've had it? A fate grimmer than a thousand deaths. Ain't that the truth? You're too bad yourself. Uh, between the three of us, we'll keep this boat safe when you're away, no matter what. Then you have my thanks. Think nothing of it. You just rest easy and leave the crate to us. The Ice of Eternia. Whoa, this is amazing. Look how high up we are. I could gaze upon every woman in the world at once from this grand ship deck. I'm coming, my sweets. There's not a one of you more than ten minutes away from me now. The long wait is over. Yours a one-track one mind, and that track ain't even a good one. Still, it's weird coming home after so long. Eternia, land of immortality. It's cold there year-round, right? Right, and I'm not kidding when I say cold. Bundle up, everyone. What is snow like? I fear I've never seen it before. Well, for one, it's at the top of my whitest snow list. It's like white fluffy crystals raining from the sky. I see, that sounds quite romantic, actually. It's like bits of cotton candy falling from the heavens. It still melts on your tongue, but it's salty, not sweet. Is that so? It does start as evaporated seawater, after all. Oh, of course, and the sea is certainly salty. And that's not all. Sometimes when it snows, fish fall from the sky. Fish, really? Uh -huh, don't tease the poor girl, ring a bell. You were deceiving me. Sorry, I didn't pipe up sooner. If you still have questions, I'll give you the real answers. Honestly, Adia. So what color is snow, really? Okay, so when I'm up here, I go in the echelot. But when I want to go up in the air... How do I go up in the air? I don't know what button is airborne. Um... Oh, let's do a quick update on the town. Okay. Okay, a lot of stuff, actually. Let's see. We have 65 we can play with. Let's stick a few in here. What? Four hours sounds good to me. What is this? Max level. Okay, so is 11 the max level? Onion shirt. Okay. It's probably a really good piece of armor, then. Two hours on that. Ooh, this. Golden egg. Stick the rest of what we have is on there. Okay. Cool. Ooh, we can jump over these mountains now. Lord Marshal, we've just received word that Grand Ship has vanished. Vanished? You mean to say it has sunk? We know little as yet, but it seems Grand Ship's inhabitants have evacuated en masse. And according to what we've heard from them, Grand Ship did not sink, it simply vanished. How is such a thing possible? Alternus, where is the Wind Vestal now? After a brief stop in the kingdom of Kaldisla, she entered Grandship before it vanished. Her current whereabouts are unknown. Muster our forces with haste. I will have every last soldier be made ready for war! Yes, your lordship. But may I be so bold as to ask why? Our land of Eternia is an inviolable realm ringed with lofty highlands. Surely, even one such as the Wind Vestal could not... It is my hope I make much of naught. Yet we cannot leave matters to hope or chance, for we now have but one crystal under our control. Could it be your lordship's daughter is providing the Vestal with information about our defenses? Victor, hold your tongue! 
No, his fear is not without merit. Okay, let's see. I just want to take a look around for a minute. So we can get off here and go to the cave, but that's probably not where we need to go. Right now, I think it's asking us to probably get off in this area here. I bring ill tidings. An enormous flying vessel has been sighted over Southmoor, and it appears poised to alight there. Ill tidings? I fail to see how such a vague report is anything of a sort. S Suffice to say, sir, it's a veritable fortress, far beyond the size of an airship. Could it be? Lord Marshal? This is the Wind Vestal's doing. Do you mean to suggest Grand Ship has taken flight? That it has surmounted the highlands that defend our land? How absurd. Spare me your flights of fancy. How do our defenses presently stand? Hmm. They stand ready for war, as your lordship commanded. And our troops in Frost Peak Passage and artillery at the summit are prepared to engage at any moment. We shall join the defense effort. Victor, is the demon child ready for war? I beg you, call her not a demon child. That is, if you hold your life dear. And whether Victoria goes to war is not for either of us to decide. The decision is hers alone. But is she not receiving treatment as we speak? When she worked her magic upon me, she seemed more than ready for battle. Her fits grow in frequency of late. Is she not nearing her limit? There is no cause for alarm. None whatsoever. Next chapter, black and white. This is probably Adia's chapter. So we're in her homeland. It's called black and white. Adia's all about black and white right, let's set it ideology. The crystal lies in Everlast Tower. Isn't it in some manner of temple? There are no crystal temples in the Duchy of Eternia. Fifteen years have passed since they stamped out the crystal orthodoxy in this land and remade the Temple of Earth into Everlast Tower. We must reach the city before we can get to the tower. And that means a trip through Frost Peak Passage. The army has special defensive units stationed there to prevent any intruders. It will be a fierce fight, so I suggest we prepare before setting out. Dat and Zat. I want you to take the proprietress and flee in the ship if the worst comes to worst. Understood. You can count on us. Okay. I was gonna say they're probably gonna attack the ship eventually while we're gone. What the heck is that thing? You'll probably have to fight that eventually. Okay, so we can't just go to the city, we have to actually go around. Fair enough. Maybe I should have scouted this with the ship first. So the other way seems like a dead end, so it's fine. Oh, real quick, let me double check that. Let me make sure, yeah, look, I think my encounter rate is at zero. So let's make sure we keep that on so we actually have an encounter. How's our health? Is everyone good? Looks like everyone's good. Okay, we'll just Okay, and then, okay. Let's just rate, let's do much more thing. Okay. Okay. So it is something we can kill fairly easily. That helps. Okay. We fight whatever this thing is. It's probably gonna be harder than usual, considering it was on the map. We've never had something like that. Okay. What is this? Raise the number of attacks for that turn. So we can probably attack three times. 
do this. And then just attack. Okay. Let's see. What would what would be good against this fire? It looks like ice, so I think fire would be good. Let's use some furas here. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's alright, it's not that big of a deal. Let's do a horizon. Um Oh, let's let's just go to two. Horizon and then jump. And then with a ring a bell, let's go ahead and just do a default for now. Ooh, I want to make sure we have someone here who can heal. Okay, that didn't really help too much. But okay. Okay, that was not a bad hit actually, it was a critical too. It is a weak point, fire is its weak point. Okay, thank god. That worked out in my favor then. Okay, he'll come down the next. Let's go ahead and do a Kira. Ooh, that hurt. That sucks. Let's get everyone healed up. Well, I'll have to heal Agnes now. Let's do a uh, Phoenix and then another Kira. Okay, that shouldn't kill anyone, so that's actually perfect timing. So that's completely fine with me. Let's go ahead and do another jump. With another Kira. This might kill Agnes again. Okay, we might have to do two cures. Let's default here. Actually, let's just do an attack. Might as well. If we can kill it, we can kill it. Let's do a second brave, just because I feel like we need to get Agnes out of death. Out of death range here. We'll go ahead and do two Kiras here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, still not dead, but that's perfect. Now we have two cures going, so we'll be out of death range of that blizzard blast now, which is nice. Use the piercing blade. Can do another jump here. Ouch. Now I'm furious. Now she's furious. Still not dead. Wow. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Do another fire and hopefully freezing punch that doesn't do anything too crazy. That stopped her? Okay. Let's do two Kiras. Uh, this will kill Adia. That sucks a little bit. Jump. Okay. Let's just. Um. Hmm. Let's do normal attack, I guess. Hmm. Blizzard Blast. Okay. Let's just default. Default. We need to use a High Phoenix on Adia. And I really gotta hope he doesn't kill anyone before I can heal them. Please don't kill anyone. Oh, but he stopped them. That's real annoying. Well, I guess we'll do the exact same thing. We'll go ahead and just Phoenix, Adia, and two Cures. That sucks that he stopped him specifically. That's a perfect hit. It's exactly what I needed to happen. So now I can get everyone out of death range again. That is exactly what I needed to happen. And hitting Tiz was perfect too. Okay, we're going to go all out here and try to kill this thing. So let's do that. Let's use some Firas. This thing will die now. And then... We'll just use a jump, I guess, and that'll work out. I need this thing to die. I don't know how much HP it has, but how much more could it possibly have? Okay, that's a fine attack for me, honestly. And yeah, is gonna run out of MP soon, too, so I'm gonna need it to die eventually. Okay, Tizzle jump. Let's get a Kira going, make sure... Yeah, see, he's gonna blast, and then I'm gonna Kira right away to negate that. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. I'm gonna keep attacking. I'm gonna try to be relentless here, because I think he's nearing his end. Horizon. Do another jump. And we're just gonna brave once. We're gonna do the 
Bolt, and then we're gonna do another Kira. And it better die soon, because we're almost out of MP for most of our characters here. You'll love to see it. 500 JP, okay, that'll bring up a lot of levels for them, too. Okay. Now we are just at the outside of the town. I have another report, Lord Marshal. The Wind Vestal and three others have been sighted leaving that enormous vessel. They've already fought their way through Frost Peak Passage and are now approaching the city! Have we received word from the forces deployed to the various lands? I'm afraid there has been no reply from any quarter. Then there is no hope of reinforcements. Hmm. Shut the valve for the white magic cables. Surely you don't mean that, Lord Marshal. It could very well have a serious impact on those receiving treatment in the city. That's cold. He's basically saying shut down the hospitals. There is not else to do. Should the tower be destroyed, the linked cables place the Earth Crystal in jeopardy. <laughs> Order all defensive units to intercept the Wind Vestal at the three passages from the city. Yes, Your Lordship. Hmm. Okay. Now we can go inside the city, right? Eternia, land of immortality? So, Idea, this is the land of your birth. It is. Then how about a rundown of the popular date spots? I'll escort you to whichever you wish. Actually, I'd rather not. This city is unlike any I have seen before. It is a curious town indeed. Yet I hadn't noticed till I'd been away for some time. Idea, what are those stretching toward the city from up on that cliff over there? Those are the white magic cables. Within them flow energy waves that amplify the effect of white magic. The cables stretch between healing towers throughout the city, allowing patients to receive the latest treatments. That is why few in this land die of illness or disease. The people live in good health everlasting. Appearances would indicate otherwise. Waves that amplify the effect of white magic. Is such a thing truly produced here in this land? Well, the more precise term would be extracted rather than produced. Before I left Eternia, I was thankful for their beneficence. I harbored not a doubt in my mind. But now... Uh... Idea? From where does this cable... Idea? I thought that might be you! Hmm? We were classmates at the Officers Academy! Oh! Um... I was worried when I heard you'd been assigned to the Sky Knights. What a relief to see you safe and sound! Oh, and I heard about your mother, too! My mother? Has something happened to her? Nobody told you? She was recently admitted to the Central Healing Tower. The central healing tower? What happened? You really have no idea, do you? Well, you'd better go pay her a visit then. Uh. Okay. Let's just go quickly save, guys. I'm going to end the episode off here, and we'll explore the town in the next episode, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.